G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to DCS World with Mags and welcome back aboard the FA-18C and today we're doing something a little bit different. Normally the missions I fly on this channel are homebrew with the intention of completing these missions to the point where I can post them and other people will be able to play them but the honest truth is with everything I've got going on at the moment I don't actually have time to finish these missions off. So today we're going to start flying out some of the user-created missions that are available for download right now on the DCS World website. I'm going to showcase them for you and give you links to their direct download so you can pick them up and fly them yourself. And as you can tell already, there is some bloody good stuff to actually check out. So this mission is Operation Eclipse. Created by Super Havoc, the situation and mission briefing is as follows. It's May 27th, 1998. Iran has been making considerable progress in their nuclear development and has constructed several facilities for refining nuclear materials. They have invited IAEA, or the International Atomic Energy Agency, inspectors to examine these facilities and all have appeared to be on the level, consistent with the production of materials for power generation. However, in 1995, a US spy satellite discovered an undisclosed nuclear facility on a lake to the northeast of Bender Abbas. Iran has denied the existence of this facility and has refused to allow IAEA inspectors near the site. SR-71 reconnaissance aircraft have since confirmed the facility's construction to be consistent with those used in the production of weapons-grade uranium. Warnings to the Iranian government from the UN to cease activities at the facility have been ignored. With Iran in violation of its agreements forbidding the production of weapons-grade nuclear material and refusing to cease production, a more permanent intervention has been authorised. So, we're flying as VFA-131, the Wildcats, off the Stennis, currently stationed in the Gulf of Amman, and our mission is to shut down this facility permanently. Now, the mission has a couple of steps that must be followed, otherwise it is an instant fail. First is the approach to Iran. While radar coverage inside of Iran itself is relatively spotty, the coastline is very well covered. Our objective is to get inside of Iran without being detected, so our approach to the coastline must be below 200 feet all the way to waypoint 1, or at least to the shoreline of Iran. If you exceed 200 feet at any point during this flight, outside of a small window area surrounding the Stennis directly after takeoff, you will be detected and the mission will automatically end. After having hit waypoint 1, you will need to climb to clear the mountains inside of Iran, but it's still recommended that you stay as low to the ground as you possibly can. And that takes us to waypoint 2, which is the fence-in for the mission. Now, waypoint 2 is directly to the east and relatively close to waypoint 3, which is our target area, where we will find the nuclear facility, which looks like this. So the primary targets are the two main refining facilities, directly on the edge of the lake, with secondary targets being the administration building to the south and the cooling tanks to the east. The area is also defended by a number of known AAA sites and may also have IR SAMs deployed inside of the area. Now, as soon as we hit the facilities, we can expect Iran to go on alert and launch interceptors to take us out. Ideally, our mission is to hit the facilities and egress without further incident, but should we be intercepted, we will be cleared to engage. And of course, once we're clear of Iran and any interceptors, we are to return to the Stennis for recovery. So at this point, I'm just warming up the Mavericks. They, of course, take a couple of minutes to get ready for launch and prepping all of my bombs. I need all this done by fence-in, and I may as well do it here, since maintaining level flight at 200 feet or under 200 feet isn't actually overly difficult to do inside of the Hornet. So waypoint one was achieved successfully with no detection. I'm going to jump us forward to about halfway between waypoint one and waypoint two. And the only last thing I need to add is, I wasn't particularly talkative during this flight, so... Well, for some of you, that's probably going to be a blessing anyway. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoy.
be the last mountain range. And six nautical miles to waypoint. Find a gap in those mountains. Okay, let's select waypoint three and set. No, I'm not going to drop it too much. Switch that back on again in a moment. Okay. 30 degrees to target. And there she is. Pull ourselves out. Looks like the mountains are slightly in the way. Ground. Let's get some Mavericks back up. And there we go. There's the target. Control over two left MFD. And right hand facility locked up. Rifle. Back on target. And left facility locked. Rifle. Alright, Mavs away, Mavs away. Let's get ourselves set up for our bomb drop. Impact one. And that's impact two. Okay, we're still set to dud, so mode CCIP, that's fine, nose fuse, and there we go. We are now armed. Alright, so we're gonna probably do two passes over this target site. The water tanks are to the right hand side of the facility from where we are now so we'll probably go for them first then we'll loop back and hit the administration building and then we should only have to do you know 90 degrees left hand bank and we'll be able to get the hell out of here two mud saa south right, the defenses are coming online focus pop up group bra 160 over 70 at 20,000 hot comes interceptors so you get this done and get the hell out of here without fighting them if we can release side of the burning buildings to the rear of where the main facility is. Let's see the structure and release. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, 
That was a bloody nice shot. Um, Alright, nav 4 is set. Sevens. Right. Um, left MFD to our RWR. So just SAM sites for the moment. That's our E2. Alright. Hopefully, if we've done this right, we'll be out of here before any of those interceptors actually make it to our location. WR is still looking clear. Right, boogie dog. Alright, so AWACS can't see anything. I have no reports on RWR. I have absolutely no doubt there are enemy aircraft out there, but they're not here yet, so we may have been fast enough to get out of this clean. Get this down to 100 feet, and there we go. The SAM sites have just disappeared off RWR. Oh, no, one of them just popped back up. Still, we'll egress exactly the same way as we entered the area. Alright. We are now over the Strait of Haman. So, hostile aircraft have just entered the maximum detection range of our E-2. And we're already over the Strait of Oman, and we're probably no more than 10 minutes out of the carriers. So, at this point... At this point, I think... I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, so, mission completed and we return to base without incident. Now, a lot can go on in that mission. We were fairly quick when we were taking out the facility and we managed to exit fast enough the interceptors couldn't get to our location. But if we spent a little bit more time, even just a couple more minutes, that wouldn't be the case. Now the completion of this mission, there are some wonderful triggers set up around the carrier. This is not the new carrier that's been demoed by Matt Wagner. This is just the regular Stennis. And I do love this. Three mile, call the ball. Now, yes, I am slightly off-center. I did rush the landing a little bit. I actually had something else to do, but a bad landing is what you've uh, come to expect from me anyway. In close. And down. Crew Chief's probably going to have a few words to say to me, but hey, his problem, not mine. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. As mentioned at the start of the video, this mission was designed by Super Havoc, and is available for download on the DCS website under User Files. I put a link to the mission directly in the video description, and it should be in the comment section down below as well. If you have the FA-18C and you're looking for more missions for it and you haven't already flown this one, and this one's been out for a while and it does constantly get updated, I do thoroughly recommend it. This is a fantastic mission, it's fantastically designed, and it is a hell of a lot of fun to fly.
Also, as always, in the video description down below, you'll find links to my Facebook, my Twitter, all my other social media, Twitch, my Patreon and Subscribestar if you would like to help support the channel directly, and if you would like to help the channel out but get something for yourself, you'll also find links to my Teespring storefront, which should have a couple of new designs up on it in the next week. Anyways, ladies and gents, until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you would like to see more, and as always, fly smart, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the skies.